Italian situation. I hope y'all didn't think that it was over. It's not over. After I got off my live stream last night, I did a live stream last night. Make sure y'all go and check it out. Jada Black live streams too. I saw that on that was uh, that uh, Tory Lanez was trending on X, and also somebody had sent me the post about what Say Cheese TV had posted. Say Cheese TV had posted a some paperwork from the driver, Tory Lanez's driver. Now I don't believe he testified. He got gone, right? He didn't want no parts of that. And um, in this situation, he basically says that on the night of this infamous incident, it was Kelsey who had the weapon in her hand when Megan Thee Stallion was struck at because Megan Thee Stallion was not shot. Okay. She was, you know, she was shot at, right? And Tory Lanez was blamed for it. My theory is that I believe that Tory Lanez tried to take the weapon away from, from Kelsey because Kelsey and Megan were arguing. And let me tell y'all something right now. When you have two women who've been drinking, who get into an argument over men, it's going to turn violent. And that's what happened. Tory Lanez had no reason to shoot this woman. Tory Lanez had absolutely no reason to shoot this woman. But Say Cheese TV posted the paperwork. He posted the paperwork. Y'all see it. I don't know why this. They said that he got lost. So that's why he didn't testify. And let me tell you something. Kelsey got a good deal. Even though Kelsey is the perpetrator. Kelsey got immunity. She said, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just give me immunity. And you know what those dumb d district attorneys did? They gave her immunity. Now, I don't know if it's like a full-fledged immunity. I don't think they can go after her, so maybe y'all can explain it. But uh, I believe she got immunity, and they can't prosecute her further for this. They were so desperate to lock up Tory that they gave her whatever she wanted. And she came in and testified, and she basically did not. She didn't even say he did it. <laughs> you know why? Because she didn't want to lie. This is for jobless Americans. I've been telling you guys for months to claim this free 6,000. Kelsey know that Tory didn't shoot that woman, but Megan is going with this lie because Megan is one of those people who don't know what accountability is. It's everybody else's fault, but Meg Thee Stallion. It's everybody else's, everybody's cheating on her and, and everybody's lying on her and it's never her fault. Meg the Stall Megan the Stallion never takes a Megan Pete never takes accountability for the things that she has done. The reason why they got into this altercation was because of Megan. Megan's jealousy and Megan being drunk is what made the situation worse. Them being at Kylie Jenner's house. Them getting kicked out of Kylie Jenner's house because Megan the Stallion was a jealous drunk who did not want Tori to stay over there because she thought that Tori and Kylie could hook up, even though she was sleeping with other men. That's the whole thing that's funny to me. You over here fighting with Kelsey over Tori. You don't want Tori to be around Kylie like that. You see he flirting with her. Cause you gotta remember Megan actually left Kylie's house, but went right back because she wanted to get Tori up out of there even though she's screwing other men. This is the type of woman that we're dealing with here, unaccountable, sleeping with men that her friend was dealing with because Tori was dealing with Kelsey first. Tori was actually dealing with Kelsey first. And then Meg got jealous and started dealing with Tori behind her, her back, flying out to see him. She just couldn't let Kelsey have Tori. She just had to get in there. She's one of those type of women. This is who we're talking about here. Look at what partisan Fontaine is saying about her. This is who she is. Now let's get into to what's going on here. This is going to up rocks. Megan Thee Stallion remained adamant that Tory Lane struck her after his bodyguard, his bodyguard witness statement went public 
It has been it's been four months since Tory Lanez was sentenced to ten years in prison for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in her feet, but he and his defenders continue to put forth the idea that it wasn't him because it's true, it wasn't him. Kelsey never said it was him. She could have said he did it, but she never did. After a court document featuring a statement from Lane's bodyguard that he saw Megan's friend Kelsey Harris holding the weapon became public. Gossip blog social media accounts almost immediately began running with the story, insinuating once again that Megan was either lying or mistaken about who pulled the trigger. It's according to Megan Cunniff. I've seen Tory Lane drive an affidavit, which is part of a longer habeas petition. Clerk tells me it could have it could take a week to fulfill my email request for it, or I can go up to LA and pay for a copy in person. I may do that later, but hopefully the full filing lands in my inbox. I guess she's talking about her issues. Uh, the affidavit I saw includes the driver saying he didn't actually see who shot the weapon, but that he saw Kelsey with the weapon in her hand. That's just as good as guilty. That's just as good as guilty. So, so what? What? So what? The narrative is that what people.